Okay, and we are back for another question. Um, this one is number seven. Find all real solutions of 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals 0. Um, so this is a quadratic. So if you want to use the quadratic formula right off the bat, you're more than welcome to. Um, what is that? Well, that would be like this. The opposite of b, which is 5 in this case, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, negative 2, divided by twice a. Right, we've got a quadratic a times x squared plus b times x plus c. So our c is negative 2, our b is 5, our a is 3. The quadratic formula tells you right away these are the solutions, whatever this evaluates to. Okay, so negative 5 plus or minus 25 minus a negative 12 times 2, so 24. So this is 25 plus 24, so that's 49. That's a really nice square root, all divided by 6. So this is negative 5 plus or minus 7 over 6, which is negative 5 plus 7 over 6. That's 2 over 6. Or negative 5 minus 7. That's negative 12 over 6. And that simplifies down pretty easily. So we get 1 third or negative 2. Okay, so the quadratic formula is more than appropriate to be used here. Um, the opposite would be plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by all of it twice a. Um, so that comes in handy a lot because if you if you'll remember, we do this a lot. <laughs> Uh, solving quadratics, factoring quadratics, things like that. But does this factor easily? Maybe. Um, so when you're factoring things, right, you need to make sure that you're working with prime factorizations of this, which is nice and easy, 1 times 3, and prime factorizations of this, which is either negative 1 times 2, or 1 times negative 2. And then what you need to make sure of is that these numbers in the appropriate multiplications add together to give you this number, plus 5. So it looks to me like if we did a 2 times a 3 to give a 6, and then a negative 1 times a 1, we could get a positive 5. So we're going to pick these two. And we're going to factor it like this. 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals. You can always put the x on the left. That's fine. That's not going to change when you're factoring like this. Um, let's just put the 1 here, and we'll put the 3 here. And then we'll decide where this negative 1 and the 2 go. Well, I said we want the 2 to be multiplied by the 3, so that means they have to be in opposite sides and opposite groupings. So we have 1x plus 2 times 3x minus 1. Okay, And that would give us what we want, I think. If we were to think back, the inners is 6x. The outers are negative x, so that in total is 5x. And then we've got the firsts, which multiply to give us 3x squared. And then we've got the lasts, which multiply to give us minus 2. So if you think about this, 3x squared plus 5x plus negative 2, that's exactly what we've got. So, so there's the factorization of this one. It's not as easily done, I think, as, as others, right? But you could still do it. But it's entirely possible that you wouldn't be able to on any given problem 
in which case you would just go right to this. Okay, I think that's enough for this problem. I'll, I'll do the next one here in the same video. Uh, solve for x in this one. So right away, I see some issues. Um, we, we can't allow x to be 0, and we can't allow x to be um, 2 thirds. Okay, so right away, x cannot equal 0, or we're dividing by 0 here. And it can't equal 2 thirds either, or we're dividing by 0 here. So let's see if we can solve this. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring everything to one side, find common denominators, and uh, you know what? We'll just we'll do it a different way. Um, I'll just I'll do your cross multiplication setup here. I'll take three x times x, and I'll take three x minus two times x plus two. That would be eventually what we would do anyway. In the other way, so we'll just, just go ahead and start there. So three x times x is going to equal. 3x minus 2 times x plus 2. Okay, uh, and then we'll just go ahead and multiply stuff out. I like that. That looks like it's going to cancel out nicely. That's 3x times x. 3x times 2 is plus 6x. Minus 2 times x is minus 2x. And then minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. And then we obviously get these to cancel out by subtracting one over to the other side. So we get 0 equals 4x minus 4. That's 4 times x minus 1. This step is pretty much unnecessary because I think it's already obvious here uh, what we're dealing with. x it has to be 1, right? So. 4 is not 0, so x minus 1 must be 0, which means x is x is 1. Is x one of these guys? No, it's not, so there's our solution. Okay, not too bad. Uh, fractions can be scary, but don't let them. Don't let them scare you. Okay, well, I'll be back for another recording of, of problem 9. It looks like it might be a, a hairy one, but we'll get it done.